So, a couple days ago, I had the pleasure of watching Disney Pixar's newest film, Soul. It was simply beautiful. I went into this film having only read one tweet about it and watching none of the trailers. This movie is not meant for kids, is what that tweet said. And I don't necessarily agree or disagree, but I know I would have enjoyed it as a child. Would I really have understood its true meaning back then? I certainly don't think so. But there I was, a 21 year old who loves great filmmaking and relatable storytelling diving into a film with only high expectations. And why wouldn't I? Look at Disney Pixar's track record. They have brought you and I fantastic movies like Toy Story, <laughs> all four of them, Coco, Wally, -E, and my personal favorite Finding Nemo and obviously many more. This past year, I was lucky enough to read the book Creativity Inc., written by Edwin Catmull, president of Walt Disney Animation Studios and co-founder of Pixar. During this read, it is obvious that Pixar would never release anything said to be mediocre. They just simply pride themselves too much into putting so much time, effort, and collaborative brain power from some of the best minds in the world into making their stories perfect. And Soul was no exception. Before I dive into the story elements, I must point out that there is no animation team out there doing this same quality of work as the people at Disney Pixar. We were immediately transported into a hyper-realistic environment with crazy amounts of detail and texture and lighting, and that just equals photorealistic animation. How far we've come from the first Toy Story is truly marvelous but also exciting. It makes you wonder what these animation engines will be able to accomplish in 10 years. I mean seriously, the first time we were introduced to the character of Dorothea Williams, we see her in a low light environment where the light reflects perfectly and throughout her saxophone, accentuating all the designs and details on and of the instrument. Truly just fantastic and detailed animation. Something else that I really enjoyed was the design of the Terrys. For me personally, my mind wanted to compare them to the characters from Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends. The simplistic 2D characters with funny designs that fit in seamlessly into their world. I also loved how they used the lines and the shapes in our world as a mode of transportation for the Terry that was trying to get Joe back. Overall, just flawless and like I said, I can't wait to see what they're working on in the future. But now, let's get into the message of this movie. Many of us, like Joe, seem to be in pursuit of accomplishing a goal, reaching a milestone that is driven forward by our most intense passion. Just waiting for the day he finally gets a golden opportunity to show his ambition and skill to the world. A chance to be in the zone for the rest of his life. When that day comes, he dies and he feels cheated. And of course, why wouldn't he? He was about to step into a possible new chapter of his life. So, he finds himself running away from the light and therefore kicking off the main adventure of the movie. A search for purpose. Which is something I would say everyone between the ages of 19 and 35 is doing. Finding a place in this world. I think the main idea of this movie is that sometimes we are so focused on one thing that we can get lost trying to find it. Or, sometimes when we do find it, we become stuck and allow what we think is our life's purpose to blind us from the beauty of reality, or just reality in general. It leads those who are lucky enough to snap out of it and ask, what am I doing with my life? And begin to evaluate new possibilities, new passions and wonders. I personally don't have the life experience that Joe did. I'm just a 21 year old with a mission to be happy with what I do in my life. And right now that would be working in the movie and TV industry because that's what calls to me. I look at making movies the same way Joe looks at jazz. And after watching this movie, that kind of scares me. One of my favorite moments in the movie was when Joe tells Dorothea that he thought his big moment would feel different and she tells him the story about the fish looking for the ocean. So it definitely made me wonder, what if I'll eventually find myself in quote unquote water? What if all this time I really haven't been pursuing that very important spark that allowed me to be on this earth? that allows me to be in that quote unquote ocean that is so sought after. Or maybe I have and I'm second guessing myself, but that's not the point. The point is that the film did what it was supposed to do, convey a message and impact its audience and make them relate. I think overall this movie does a phenomenal job in mixing amazing visuals with outstanding score and a thought provoking story with a message that will never stop being meaningful through generations to come. So, to finish off, I can strongly say that Soul lands a spot on my top 5 animated movies, and it'll be one that I share with family and friends for years to come. So, 
before I officially, officially finish my review, I just wanted to say the montage scene of Joe's life, just fantastic. And the first time 22 steps in a busy New York street, the chaos on screen as well as in our ears, man, I love this movie. I felt like I was just there with her. And yeah, I mean, I think you can tell what I, what I feel about this movie. And I honestly hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. So thanks for watching and let me know what you thought of Soul. And please comment down below anything that you think I should watch. And I'll definitely drop a review. Thank you so much. Please subscribe and have a good day. Bye.